Welcome to Blueprint Radio. I'm your host, Martin Williams. Here we help you create a blueprint for your life. So let's build. And welcome to Blueprint Radio. My name is Martin Williams. Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast. You may do so on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, and SoundCloud. All the links to the podcast can be found at guidedexpressions.com forward slash podcast with an S or wherever you're listening to this podcast right now. So today's subject is playing the done game. So most of the world is playing a to-do game or doing game, right? Most people are trying to get things done. They're trying to get things accomplished. They're trying to, um, you know, achieve their goals and everything. And that's fine. But what I've learned over time is that's the wrong game to be playing. The game you want to play is the done game. So what does that mean by that? Yeah, what do I mean by that? All creation is finished. Okay. So anything that you want to do, anything that you want to be, anything you want to have is already done. And it's already completed and it's completed in the way that you believe it is completed. Meaning that there are infinite possibilities Okay, in the Bible, it says all things are possible. So what that means is is that every single thing is possible. There are millions upon millions of possibilities available to us. But the ones that we experience, the ones that we actually see in our lives are the ones that we have the most faith or the most belief in. That's why faith is important, because you can want something really, really bad. You can want to get out of debt or, or get a new job or whatever the case may be. But if you don't have the faith to get it, it's highly unlikely that you will experience it. And you can be someone who deserves to have it. You can be someone who's qualified to have it. You can be someone who, You know, you feel like I've done everything I could to get it, but I didn't get it because we don't understand. Well, you know, most people don't understand that all creation is finished. So it's not about working hard. It's not about trying harder. It's not about all the things that that we've been taught over the years, all the things that we've been, you know, led to believe. There's very little that any of it really has to do with bringing that what you truly want into manifestation into reality now when people hear the word manifestation they automatically say oh man you know you're one of these woo-woo people right you know you're one of these people who you know you believe you can just meditate under a tree and bring everything that you want into your life and that's not true that's not true at all. Uh, I am the type of person where I do believe in, in mindset. I do believe in visualization. I do believe in manifestation, but you still have to take action to bring that into your life. I can visualize more clients or more customers every single day, but until I put out an offer and until I put out some marketing and until I um, perform the work that I am marketing for, that money is not going to show up. Those clients are not going to show up, at least not on a consistent basis. I've got to take action and you've got to take action no matter what. But the way that we take action is often misunderstood. When you're playing the done game, what you're saying is that this thing that I desire is already completed. It's already done. It's just done in another dimension. It's done in another place in existence, right? Maybe not where I am right now, but what I need to do is is that I need to see it as done, bring it into this dimension, and then act as if it is done, right? There are certain things that you have to do to bring it into manifestation. 
I'll give you a, a good example. So when I order something, sometimes I order things online and the person or the company will say it's been shipped, right? But when I look at the tracking, they'll say, it, the, the tracking will say, you know, UPS or <clears throat> USPS or whoever's taking that package has not picked up this item yet. So the factual um, reality is that UPS hasn't picked up the item yet, but the company said it was shipped. So which one is true? The reality is both are true. The company shipped it from their end. What they're saying is this is out. This is done. We've, we've counted it as done. We've moved on to the next order, but UPS hasn't picked it up yet because there's a, what, what we call a supply chain and you know, if you listen to the news, I don't listen to a lot of news these days, but if you listen to the news, um, you will see that the United States is having a supply chain problem that stems from the pandemic and, um, you know, lack of labor resources and, and things of that nature. So because of that supply chain, there's a lot of goods but when it comes to the transportation of those goods, it's taking a while for those goods to reach their final destination. What you have to think about in your life is that everything you want is already done. There's no shortage. There's no lack, right? Whatever it is that you want, whether it's, you know, something material like money or a car or a house or a computer, whatever the case may be, or it could be something intangible like love or more kindness or strategy or an idea, whatever the case may be, everything is already completed. It's already, it already exists in that dimension, in that unseen dimension. What you have to do is transport it to where you are. And the way you transport it is by faith, by believing in the thing that you want. The reason that they're saying that Christmas could be an issue in this country is because there's a breakdown in the supply chain. There's a breakdown in the transportation of the goods from where they were created to where people want them, right? So you might be ordering something from China or Japan and you live in Kansas City or Chicago or Miami or New York or something like that. And that thing, it left Japan, but it's stuck in Los Angeles because there aren't enough people to get the things off the boats to the trucks to drive the goods to wherever they will end up or the planes or what have you. Faith is the exact same thing. There are a lot of people who want healing, who want more money, who want better uh, relationships, but they can't experience it because they don't have the faith, they don't have the belief that it's already done in their life. So what happens is that it gets left in that unseen realm, right, where everything exists. So in the Bible, that unseen realm is called the kingdom of heaven, right? So the Bible says that if you seek, seek ye first the kingdom or the kingdom of God, and the two are used synonymously, but the kingdom of God, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. That's what it's saying. It's saying that when you seek that realm, all these things will be added to you because that's where it is. I'm not going to look for my keys 
in someone else's house if I've never been in that house, right? If I lose my keys, God forbid, I'm not going to go into my neighbor's house because my neighbor, I'm, I'm not going to my neighbor's house and my keys are not there. They can't be there. The keys are, are very much likely in my house, right? In the same way, the things that you want are closer to you than you could possibly imagine. It's just that you're looking in the wrong place. If that makes sense. I might have botched it, but hopefully that makes sense. You have to understand that we're playing a done game. Everything's done, right? It, it could You could even apply it to the things that you're doing at work. You know, maybe work is getting overwhelming right now and you got a, a million things to do. Stop looking at it as not done, Okay, because when you look at it, it's not done. That's when the overwhelm starts. You start getting overwhelmed. You start getting tired. You start getting, you know, agitated because you feel like you'll never catch up. There's no, there's no catching up to do. It's already completed. There's a realm where all these things are done. The report that you need to send, the email you need to send, um, the people you need to talk to. It's already been completed. Everything. So you're not trying to catch up, right? What you're trying to do or what you should be doing is writing out line by line, item by item, what needs to be completed today, right? And this in, on my side, what I need to complete, I need to complete these four things or these five things or these 10 things. And then using your mind to see that thing is already completed. And once you see it already completed and then start walking in the completion of it, it is at that point, it is at that point that the ideas, the strategies, the favor, the people that you need to talk to, all of that comes into focus and all of that comes into fruition because you're approaching it the correct way. So stop playing the, the to-do game, stop playing the doing game, start playing the done game, and life starts flowing the way that you need it to. So I want to thank you for listening to the Blueprint Radio Podcast. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for listening to Blueprint Radio. For more information on Martin Williams coaching and products, please go to guidedexpressions.com or visit me on Facebook as well as Instagram.